Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today's Monday, which means it's time for an episode of Loadout, the series where you guys, the viewers, get to pick a gun and customization for me to use in Battlefield 4. The way you do this is you leave a comment down below letting me know what kind of weapon and accessories you'd like me to use, and I will pick one of the top rated comments for the next episode. Today's top comment comes from Jack of Black Phoenix, the Governor Loadout. Class will be using the Assault. Primary weapon is the AUG A3. Optic is the JGM-4 or anything of your choice which replicates the classic Swarovski scope. No accessory, heavy barrel, ergo grip. Secondary is a naked M9. Sadly, there's no chromed version in Battlefield 4. Gadget 1 is a first aid pack. Gadget 2 is nothing. And then we'll be using the Bowie knife. Exterminate the survivors with an AUG A3 to take their supplies. If you stumble upon an M32 MGL, do not hesitate to pick it up and use it to knock down the walls and buildings. If your team is not going to PTFO, start manically team killing everyone around you. On top of that, play with one of your eyes closed or wear an eye patch before joining the server. And if you run into the AMC producers, turn them into dust in revenge for the season six finale cliffhanger. I hope you'll enjoy and have a good day. Now I've certainly been staying up to date on Walking Dead. It's a very, very engaging zombie show. Probably one of the best zombie shows that's been on TV. Certainly outdoes most of the zombie movies I've seen. And the governor was definitely one of those ultimate villains, although season six cliffhanger may have presented an even bigger bad guy. Now in the show, the governor is often seen using the Steyr AUG, uh, I believe the A1 model of that gun. It does have that classic built-in scope before the Picatinny rail system was developed or at least popularized. And this scope in real life was long and narrow. However, it only had a 1.5 magnification optic on board. So uh, it was almost like like having a red dot sight in a way. So I tried to replicate that by putting the two times magnifier on this gun since that's the closest we can get to a 1.5 times magnification. Unfortunately, the two times magnifier in this game is just possibly one of the worst weapon attachments in BF4 as it just takes up so much of your screen there and provides very little benefit in terms of overall accuracy. It also in a way looks aesthetically similar to the optics in the game, although uh, it would have been kind of cool if Battlefield 4 had maybe some of the Night Force style optics in the game as uh, one to four times variable zoom scopes are now becoming popular for tactical operations or hunting or whatever, but they are being used more in the military and they sort of have that long tube like look to them, but they're very, very effective optics as they can replicate essentially a red dot sight when you need it to. But if you need something with a little bit more of magnification, like four times, all you have to do is rotate the zoom ring on there and then you've effectively turned your one times optic into something like an ACOG, which is a four times optic. So just having a two in one package is obviously better than only having one option. And the flip up magnifier essentially gives you the same option there, but uh, having it all in one package is just a little bit simpler. All right, now onto the actual loadout itself. The AUG A3 is a cool looking gun. It's actually a very good gun in Battlefield 4. The way we have it set up right now is not necessarily the best. In fact, if you're using any sort of magnified optic, I would not recommend putting the heavy barrel on this gun or for the most part, any gun out there, unless it's got insanely low first shot and just generally vertical recoil. Otherwise your scope, your optic's going to be bouncing around too much because if you have a magnified optic, it's going to magnify the effect of recoil on your gun and make it harder to track targets. So basically magnified optic plus heavy barrel, you would think that would make sense, but in game it's generally less effective. And since there's no visual difference while running with a heavy barrel in this game, I ended up taking it off for a lot of the gameplay just so I could try and be a little bit more effective since this flip up sight, which I was running on all the time to make the optic look look as similar to the one in the picture or just perform similarly, uh, it's hard to use. It is not easy having this much optic housing around your screen. It makes it very hard to not only track targets, but also be aware of other targets that are sneaking up in the area where your housing is covering. So you might be watching a corner, you might be focusing on one bad guy, but he's got a teammate next to him who you can't see because your optic housing is so big. And I just died too many times from that. It was, it was quite frustrating and one of the reasons why I never use the flip up sight. The vertical grip can certainly work on this weapon, but it's not necessarily ideal if you're going for medium to longer range targets. Um, it's good for staying on the move, obviously. And if you're gonna be hip firing and moving around in CQB, then it's useful 
Probably not the number one grip attachment I would pick for this gun though. So uh, you can run it, but I would say the stubby grip is probably gonna yield a little bit better results. And if you're a bit of a purist, you really don't have to run with any attachments on this weapon. It should perform just fine right out of the box. Just slap a red dot sight on there and you're good to go. Now, one thing that I do like about Walking Dead, but isn't necessarily the most realistic aspect of the show, is the abundance of fully automatic weapons, and some of them are fairly exotic. Now, I'm not saying you wouldn't maybe run into someone who had a fully automatic version of an AUG A1. Uh, not necessarily a very common rifle to run into especially in the states but also finding one in with a fully automatic modification on it I'm just saying, even if you've been in the apocalypse for a couple years, chances of finding a weapon like this are pretty darn slim. It doesn't mean I don't appreciate seeing them in the show, but realistically speaking, the chances of you finding one are slim to none. And if you really did have your choice of any assault rifle out there, why would you use an old clunky AUG A1 with this kind of old fashioned optic on there instead of a more modernized one with a rail system and better optics. I mean, it's an iconic looking weapon and it looks cool in his hands, but just again, I can't help but asking the realistic question of how would he find this gun? And two, if he did find it, why would he want to use it over a more modern assault rifle? Not a complaint necessarily, but more of just an observation. Then again, if you're going to go down that route, you can really start poking holes in the logical choices between a lot of the weapon platforms in that show. And generally speaking, this loadout functions in Battlefield 4, but pretty much every attachment we have on it is fighting against the gun itself. The gun being used naked without any attachments on here, I feel would be better than what we've actually put onto it. I'd take off the grip, I'd get rid of the heavy barrel and probably just put a red dot on there and this thing would be good to go. You could put a grip on there like a stubby if you wanted to modify it a little bit, but ultimately the gun is still very good, performs very well in Battlefield 4. The rate of fire being 700 rounds per minute is respectable. It's not gonna allow it to compete with some of the high rate of fire weapons in close quarters, but as a medium to medium long range assault rifle, it is extremely good. Anyway, that wraps it up for today's episode of Loda. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to leave a comment for next week's episode. As always, guys, I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing up.